Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Macros in Word are small programs that record your keystrokes as you perform a task and then save the actions you perform as a visual basic module, which is a type of program file. When you run the macro later, it repeats your keystrokes, thus repeating your actions. Therefore, they are great for automating repetitive tasks. For example, if you wanted to create a macro that places your company's name and address information in the upper left corner of a document, you could record a macro as you enter the information once. You can later run the recorded macro to do it again in the future. It repeats the exact same keystrokes you entered, effectively repeating the process instantly. Advanced options for creating macros appear on the Developer tab in the ribbon if it is enabled. You can also use the Macros button group on the View tab in the ribbon to record and play back basic macros you record. This lesson examines how to record a basic macro using the commands within this button group in the ribbon. To record a macro in Word, click the drop-down part of the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab of the ribbon. Then select the Record Macro command from the drop-down menu that appears to open the Record Macro dialog box. In the Record Macro dialog box, enter a name for the new macro into the Macro Name field. Note that macro names cannot contain spaces. Next, select the template or document to which to attach the macro from the Store Macro In dropdown. It defaults to the normal Macro Compatible Document Template, or .dotm, which is the document template upon which all new macro enabled documents are based. You can only run a macro if it is attached to the actual document in which you use it, or if it is attached to the document template from which the current document was produced. So, if the macro is one you want for all documents that use macros, then selecting the All Documents Normal.dotm template choice is a good idea. Otherwise, select the template or file to which to attach the macro. Then click the OK button to start recording. When recording macros in Word, avoid clicking with your mouse into the document to do things like select items or move the insertion mark cursor to avoid creating unexpected results when you run the macro later. Instead, try to use the keyboard keys to do things like move the insertion mark cursor and select text as much as possible. If necessary, to pause the macro while recording, click the drop-down part of the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab of the ribbon. Then choose the Pause Recording command from the button's drop-down menu. To resume recording the macro when you are ready to continue, click the drop-down part of the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab of the ribbon. Then select the Resume Recorder command from the button's drop-down menu. To stop recording the macro after you finish recording it, click the drop-down part of the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab of the ribbon. Then select the Stop Recording command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.